Welcome back everyone. And today we're gonna to be discussing $0 premium Medicare Advantage plans. I love these plans. We're gonna talk about why they exist, how they're able to exist, and more importantly, the amount of money they can save you. Now with any sort of educational video, there's gotta be a background. You gotta have some basic knowledge of kind of the context of this. So if you don't understand what Medicare is, what Medicare Advantage is, when your enrollment periods are, how it all works, then see my content on my, my page, on my channel, and check out those other explainer videos. But for the purpose of this video, I'm already gonna assume you know what Medicare Advantage is. I'm already gonna assume you're looking into a Medicare Advantage plan. And I'm just gonna break down how it's even possible to have a $0 premium plan and why this is beneficial and why this is going to help lots of you out there save thousands of dollars every single year. So why even consider a Medicare Advantage plan in the first place? Honestly, for most of you, it's not even going to be a consideration you need to spend some time on. And I mean that, and I'm gonna break it down bluntly and so you can understand it. Medigap plans are great, but they cost money, a lot of money. And a lot of you out there can't afford that. Statistics just show that a lot of people who are eligible for Medicare in the year 2023 are not only on a limited budget, but it's a very low income limited budget. So if you're making over 75 grand, then I think it is in your best interest to look at a Medicare supplement plan, also known as a Medigap plan, compared to a Medicare Advantage plan that is available in your area to find out which one is best. But if you don't make $75,000 a year or more, I think you need to spend your time finding out what is the best Medicare Advantage plan available to you in your area. Quite simply, a Medigap plan just in premiums alone is going to cost you roughly four to $500 per month in just premiums. That's your Part B premium. That's the Medigap plan you choose premium. That's adding vision, dental, and hearing insurance on top of that. And it's also adding a prescription drug plan. Those are just premiums before you actually even use the services. So for most of you out there, Medicare Advantage is going to be the best way to go to get the most benefits, which is the number two reason that most people choose Medicare Advantage is extra benefits. Now using these benefits wisely can help you save thousands of dollars per year. I'm serious on the word thousands. I'm going to get more into that in depth later in the video. So definitely keep watching, but literally money you're already spending can be saved by just enrolling in the correct Medicare Advantage plan. And the third reason that people enroll into Medicare Advantage plans in general is because of the $0 premium and the doctors they already love are in the plan. It's 2023. The Medicare Advantage plans have the best of the best. They want to attract you as a beneficiary and they can only gonna do that by having the best doctors available to their beneficiaries. It makes no sense for a carrier to offer subpar medical groups with very low rated doctors. No one wants to join a plan like that, but everyone wants to pay nothing per month for a Medicare Advantage plan where they can go see a five-star doctor who gets rave reviews. A lot of those doctors are in the $0 premium Medicare Advantage plans. And we're gonna get more into that, so stay watching. But I bet you're asking right now, how can these plans be free? How can anything be free? Well, they're not. They don't say they're free. They say they're zero premium. So that is a way the advertisers might kind of get you to thinking they're free because when I see zero, I think free, but note it's $0 premium, not free plan. So let me break down how this can even happen, how they can offer you a $0 premium plan. So insurance carriers have Medicare Advantage plans that they can offer. These plans are based on your zip code. Well, they are funded by the federal government. So the insurance carriers get funded by the federal government to offer these Medicare Advantage plans. What they do then is they go out and they advertise them. They advertise those extra benefits to try to get you as a beneficiary to join their plan. When you do join their plan, what do you do? You eventually go and see a doctor, right? So Medicare, pays essentially the insurance carriers money to offer these services, these healthcare services that you're going to receive. So that's one way they can cut the plan down to $0 premium up front. They don't have to pass on the expense to you directly as the beneficiary because they're getting funded by the federal government. The next way they're able to cut the plan's premium down to $0 per month is because they're contracted with the health groups in the plan. So essentially they go to these health groups, your doctor's part of like a, a group of doctors, you know, a health group. They go to these health groups and they say, hey, we have this many beneficiaries. We would love to have your and you guys, your group in our plan so they can choose your network of doctors. Now, these companies go after, these insurance carriers go after the best of the best. Why? Because the better ratings the doctors have, the better ratings the health groups have, means the more attractive it is to beneficiaries. So the more beneficiaries they have in their system, that means they can offer more discounts to the health groups or the health groups, I should say, can offer more discounts to the insurance carriers because they're bringing them tons and tons of business. That way, the insurance carriers can then say, okay, 
we don't have to pay full price for the services our beneficiaries incur with your health group because we're bringing you so much business they get a discount on it therefore they pass on that zero dollar premium to you and then they charge medicare the entire amount of what it would cost in fact in recent times there's been a huge kind of audit that has happened on our federal government level the biden administration is essentially auditing insurance carriers to the tune of 4.7 billion dollars saying you guys are overbilling. Now that's a whole nother subject, but I do have a video on that. If it interests you, it's in the little title screen above. All right, so let's just look at this plan. There's three plans actually. These are current in 2023 in Los Angeles County. And I just wanna kind of give you guys an overview of what plans Medicare Advantage $0 premium plans look like in Los Angeles. If you live in a different county, then you obviously would look at what they look like where you live. But here's an example of what they look like where I live. So we have two $0 plans. And in the middle, we have one plan that has a $25 a month premium. We can see that there's zero deductibles all the way across the board for these plans. And you can see the maximum out of pocket would be almost 500 here, here. And then this one is almost 300. Now, I want to also show you an example of a dual plan. So this is essentially someone who may have Medi-Cal, which is also known as Medicaid in Los Angeles County. You can see how these plans are essentially zero cost all the way down the board. I don't want to use the word free healthcare, but there's very, very, very few things that would cost any sort of money out of pocket. If you are a fully eligible dual, you will just see zeros all the way down. But if you did spend some money, it would only be $500 for the entire year compared to the cost of original Medicare by itself, excuse me, or a Medigap plan. I think you can see how these cost saving plans can be beneficial for yourself. And then here's an example of that same sort of plan using this is the prescription drug coverage and dental coverage here. So you can see how much these would kind of be out of pocket for the plans and your local broker would be more able to assist you. If you live in Southern California, contact me. I'll help you go through or if you're interested in this plan in general, I can help you enroll or see if you're eligible or see if it's a good fit for you. But I wanted to just display why these Advantage plans are not the same plans that they were 10 years ago. They actually are really, really good and can save you thousands of dollars per year because there's a lot of zero dollar costs associated with healthcare services. So I moved pretty fast through that, but I just wanted to show you guys how it works as an example. I went over two different things. I went over, you know, a basic plan. And then I also went over how essentially $0 premium plans can be almost 100% free if you're a dual. So if you have both Medicare and Medicaid, well, you know, they say life is tough enough for you. You don't have much money. We essentially are going to cover all your costs. You know, it differs in every state. Your Medicaid level differs. All those things come into play. But that's an example of in Los Angeles County. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, what could be available to you? Now, if you need more personalized care and you do live in Southern California, feel free to connect with me. All my contact information is in the um, description of this video. You can click on my socials to find me that way. You can schedule an appointment and we can get on the phone one-on-one -on -one and find out what is the best plan for you. If you don't live in the area, you can still connect with me, reach out, ask a question, and I will try and guide you the best I can. I'm just not licensed and appointed in every state with every carrier, but I can give you some good professional advice of what I would do if I were in your shoes. So now let's talk benefits because this is the second biggest reason people join a Medicare Advantage plan. The first being the cost. This is number two. Well, what am I going to get by enrolling in your plan versus enrolling into the plan of another carrier? And I'm just going to go over the big ones. There's there's tons out there and they're literally based on each plan, each carrier. But I'm going to go over the big ones that most people get kind of attracted to. And I'm going to cover the ones that I see a lot here in the LA area. Number one is going to be the Part B premium give back. I mean, this deserves its own video by itself, but I just want to make things very clear regarding Part B premium give back. You can only receive give back if you're actually paying your Part B premium. Now, I tend to work in the low income Medicare Advantage sector of the entire Medicare Advantage program. So I deal with people who are making less than $20,000 a year. Now, a lot of these folks, they see these advertisements on TV and they think that the government's just going to give them an additional $165 a month. That's not the case. Nine out of 10 times, most people that want that at least where I live in the, the section I work in, they're getting Medicaid, they're getting Medi-Cal. They're not paying for Part B in the first place. So you don't get an additional 165. It just means if you're paying Part B premium, there's an opportunity for you to enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan and they will entice you to enroll with them by giving you a stipend to cover a portion or in some cases, all of the Medicare Part B premium, but it's literally based on the county you live in. So. Medicare ads can be very misleading, be aware of that. Next kind of benefit that a lot of people get excited about is the free fitness benefit. Now I know most of you don't probably work out. That's okay, neither do I all the time. But you know what's funny is that most people have some sort of gym membership. I know tons of people who probably pay per month for a gym membership, but don't go. Well, when you have a Medicare Advantage plan, a lot of times they just want you to stay healthy because you're older. 
you know, that's when your body tends to deteriorate. So they're going to offer free fitness benefits, right? So you can go anywhere from your $10 Planet Fitness to your $100 uh, LA Fitness. You know, those are just a few examples. But at the same time, the whole point is that they this is a free benefit that a lot of Medicare Advantage plans do offer and people do like, or at least they like the idea of thinking that they're going to start, you know, getting in shape and being healthier. Over the counter is another big benefit. This essentially means that there are things that you buy at CVS, at Walgreens, like vitamins, like band-aids, like toothbrushes, toothpaste, things like that, that they will literally give you money to pay for. Um, it varies with each plan. As you saw above, the example I gave, you know, it was like $75 per quarter, but it's 75 free bucks every three months for you to use at CVS to buy those things that you're already spending money on. Like you, you gotta brush your teeth, right? Might as well get some free toothpaste. Another common benefit that people called out is flex cards. Again, this goes back to the money thing. I know most people are just trying to find any way they can to save money, make money, get money, right? So flex cards, they're advertised as cards that you can use at your discretion for different services. It's essentially what it is. Again, they're advertised on TV ads that air all over the nation. Doesn't necessarily mean the plan you enroll in will be offering that product to you. A few of the other ones that are kind of common are in-home healthcare services. A lot of times these can be at zero cost to the member, depending on your level of Medicaid. Uh, transportation services. These will, this is a service like an Uber or sometimes even a dedicated van by the insurance company that will come pick you up and take you to doctor's appointments. I know nowadays, most people I meet with, their children or another family member takes them to their appointments. They literally have to take off work or work it around their schedule. So this is a nice kind of benefit if you're in a bind or you know you just don't have anyone there to take you. Transportation is a free one as well. So there's a lot more that we could go into. There's a lot more to discuss and benefit. But again, I just want to name the big ones that most people kind of uh, get attracted to through ads and that most people really want to take advantage of when it comes to Medicare Advantage. These are the ones that are going to save you some money in the long run and put thousands back into your pocket. So let me break that down to you right now. So let's go over the cost to be aware of when you enroll into a Medicare Advantage plan. Um, even if there's a $0 premium Medicare Advantage plan, these are costs that you need to be made aware of. There's gonna be co-pays, there's gonna be co-insurance, there's gonna be deductibles, there's gonna be a Part B premium that you have to pay, and you're also gonna have your out-of-network costs. Now, I'm gonna break down what a copay is. That's essentially a flat fee when you go and see a doctor. For example, every time you see the doctor, it costs $20. Therefore, you have a $20 copay. Coinsurance is a percentage that you're responsible for paying. Let's say that you have a service and it costs $1,000 and you have 20% coinsurance. Well, you're responsible for $200. Your insurance plan covers the other $800. And then deductible is the amount that you need to pay before your insurance actually kicks in. Now, for Part B premium, that's going to be $164.90 to everyone who has Medicare Part B. And that needs to either be paid by you or you are low income and you're getting paid by the state. And the final thing is out-of-network costs. Those actually vary because um, it literally just depends on the plan that you have, what they cover, what they do not cover. But if you travel and go see a doctor out of the area where you live, then usually there is an out-of-network cost associated with that. So those are the five big areas that people should look at when considering a Medicare Advantage plan. So um, a lot of times these are touted as the reason people don't want to enroll in Medicare Advantage is because they don't want to pay the co-pays or the co-insurance or you know something like that and um, they think it's gonna be so much money but then when you actually like look at it and you break it down you're like wow this is ridiculously less expensive than if i had the alternative being a medicap plan so this isn't true for every area this isn't true for every county because it is true here so if you live in southern california feel free to reach out i'll help you out all right so remember earlier when i said by enrolling in a zero premium medicare advantage plan you are potentially saving thousands of dollars not potentially you're gonna save thousands of dollars. Now the actual amount is going to depend on what services you use, it's gonna depend on where you live, it's gonna depend on what's available plan-wise to you in your county, but I'm gonna give you a general idea of where I'm coming up with these thousands of dollars. Okay, so let's say you don't have Medicare Advantage. Let's say you have Medigap or you have Original Medicare, right? Now here's some things that you're going to commonly spend money on that you could get covered if you were in one of these zero premium Medicare Advantage plans. First thing we're gonna talk about is over-the-counter. You're going to CVS, you're buying things. You're buying toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash, band-aids, medical equipment that you need to use, wraps, vitamins, I don't know, things of that nature. You spend a certain amount of money per year purchasing those. Well, most Medicare Advantage plans are gonna offer you at least you know, $50 per quarter for you to use them to buy those items, right? So let's just say $50 on the low end is what they offer you per quarter. It happens four times a year. It's 200 bucks, free 200 bucks in your pocket to buy things that you're already spending money on. 
That's one way, right? Second way, we're gonna talk about fitness membership. Now, most people probably have some sort of fitness membership, but they don't always go. This is especially true for those under 65. As you get older, maybe you don't join a gym as much, but this is when they offer you the free stuff. This is when they're saying, we want you to be healthy because that means you're gonna spend less time at the doctors, less time needing prescription meds, and just feeling overall better and living longer. So they offer free health and fitness benefits to you. Say the average you know, gym membership is probably 40, 50 bucks a month, but on the low end, if you're going to Planet Fitness, it's only $10 a month, minus the initiation fee, Therefore, a $50 initiation fee plus $120 a year in monthly membership is another $170 in your pocket that you were probably spending before that once you're eligible for Medicare and joining the Medicare Advantage plan, you don't have to spend again. Now, let's talk about Part B Premium Give Back. This isn't going to apply to everybody, but for those that it does apply to, you're, paying, you're spending $165 per month on Medicare Part B. That's about what? 16, almost $1,800 a year that you're spending on Medicare Part B. Now, let's say you enroll in a plan that offers a Part B Premium Give Back. Let's say they just give you, I don't know, 50 bucks a month. Okay, well, 50 times 12, that's an additional $600 a year back in your pocket. Pretty good. Some of these plans offer more than that 50. Some offer 100. You know, it just really depends on the carrier. But that's another way if your Medicare Advantage plan offers Part B premium give back for you to save additional money. Another way that you can save additional money is transportation costs. Most people don't really take into account the amount of time, energy, effort, and gas money they're spending when going to appointments. They'll say, oh, my daughter drives me. Well, your daughter probably pays for the gas then, when the insurance to have the car. They offer free transportation benefits a lot of times with Medicare Advantage plans. I get it. You don't want to get in the car with a stranger. Most people don't, you know, want to do that as well. But if you're really looking to save money, instead of having your daughter take off work to take you to an appointment, you could also use this benefit for free where they'll pick you up and take you home from your doctor's appointments. You make sure that you're getting there free of charge. Another benefit is there's flex cards. Now flex cards are not offered in every case. They're not offered in every county. They're not offered with every plan, but essentially they are cards that you discretionary get to use. They're prepaid cards to pay for services. If you have a $50 a month flex card. There's 12 months in a year. That's $600 in additional money to use on services that you're probably spending using your debit card, your direct express card, your credit card, your bank account to pay for. In some counties, there's even utility cards. Meaning they'll give you money towards the cost of utilities. Let's just say on average, this is $50 a month. There's an additional $600 a year that can go for paying your heating bill, your electric bill, your lights, your gas, your water, what have you. Now, low income individuals are probably in some sort of savings program already through the utility company, but for those who have not applied or for those who don't qualify, this is an advantage of having a Medicare Advantage plan. And finally, let me just talk about the dental, the vision, and the hearing that is included in most Medicare Advantage plans. See, most people probably don't have any sort of dental, vision, or hearing insurance, or probably not adequate insurance, before they turn 65. They just really don't go to the dentist that much. You know what? I sit down with a lot of seniors, and a lot of them have dental problems. And a lot of those dental problems lead to other problems because that's where the bacteria starts, that's where the infection starts. So here's the thing, dental work costs money. If you had a separate dental plan, you'd have to pay the premiums on that, just to have a plan before you even go and see the doctor. So just premium alone, let's just say a dental plan is $40 a month, there's an additional $480 a year that you wouldn't have to spend to get dental care. There would be no premiums per month in the Medicare Advantage plan to have dental care. On top of that, you also get basic hearing care and basic vision care with stipends for hearing aids if they're needed and stipends for eyeglasses or contacts if they're needed. Now, it depends on the plan you're in, but for example, in my area, the plan we looked at had a $200 per year vision allowance I meaning they would give you two hundred dollars to use on glasses of your choice the glasses you want cost 400 well they pay two you pay two better than you paying actually four or not having any help at all so you can see how these benefits add up over time and of course each county will have its own set each plan will have its own set each carrier is going to have its own enticement to get you to become a beneficiary when you sit down and do the math on what you're spending now in your everyday life without having these in a, uh, without using them in a Medicare Advantage plan, and then using them in a Medicare Advantage plan, you can see where you can easily start saving thousands of dollars per year that you are currently just spending on everyday stuff as it is.